Okay, so Paris Hilton is wishing her longtime frenemy, Lindsay Lohan, well. The two had a rocky uh, friendship relationship since the early 2000s, but are now on good terms. And Paris offered some advice to Lindsay, who was expecting her first child. Watch. I'm so excited for her. I know that she's always wanted to be a mom, and she seems like she's in such an amazing place with her new man, so I'm just so happy for her. Any tips for the first time mama? To just take in all the special moments, because they grow up so fast. He's only two months old, but every day he's growing more and more, so it's just good just to soak in every moment. So Paris also told Rolling Stone magazine that she made her baby surrogate watch episodes of her reality show, The Simple Life, so her unborn child could get used to the sound of her voice. Brilliant. Go for it. I've thought about this. If I needed to use a surrogate, I would have them play the podcast over and over. <laughs> Just if you can't TBL. be there. Not, yeah, not TBL. Well, that might be confusing. Oh, yeah, right. a lot of voices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. They're going to recognize Uncle Al and yes. Auntie Sammy, yeah. but yes, that makes sense. What did you think about her advice to Lindsay? Um, i got to be honest. I don't have kids, but I thought... Having a, a two-month-old, I don't know if you know that much about... Nuh-uh, Tori, don't do that. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. We cannot. <laughs> yeah. We cannot do that. She was like, it's so... No. They grew up so fast. Okay. Like 60 no. days old. <laughs> we, That's you, really young. You can't do that. I can't. We are the only two childless people yeah, on this panel. Yeah, go to someone else. You're right. Okay. okay, okay. I would say, clearly, she knows two months more information yeah. than Lindsay does. But does she? <laughs> so I don't see... Well, well, she does. Well, is Paris Hilton really, like, burping the baby, or is there a night nurse? And I mean... Who knows? I but know. she still knows two months more. What do you think, Jeff? She's not doing anything if that's her answer. <laughs> I'm telling you straight <laughs> up. Because the first two months, months is hard. Like, listen, I understand she's probably given an answer, and she wants to get off that carpet or whatever she was doing. But the honest truth is, it's really hard. You're sleep-deprived, even as a father, as a parent, right? Right? My wife was going through postpartum. Her mind was spinning out of control. It was a really rough time when I talk about the roughest patch in my life. That was probably it, wow. right? So if she's given an honest answer, I understand she wants to get off that carpet. It's nothing like that. Was the that truth is, it's very difficult, especially it, the first two months. They call it the fourth trimester. The, th right. the first three months postpartum is the fourth trimester. And there's a reason why we advocate for mm -hmm. maternity leave or paternity leave, because it's impossible with no sleep, if all things are, you know, you don't have the resources that maybe Paris Hilton has, with, with no sleep to go to work or to leave someone. Or, I mean, they liken a, a car accident or they liken the postpartum recovery to a car accident right. for women. Right. So it's it's difficult. But I, would, I would say that's what happens to your life. And how dare I cut you off somebody that not only has two children, but birth those children and also has been very open about your postpartum. I wonder if maybe we're the first generation people that are talking about this yeah. regularly because I, I look back at people I know and I've I've also had the thoughts about, oh, maybe the postpartum thing makes sense now. I feel like we give that flowery answer a lot, like it's the best time of your life when it's not. Your relationship with your spouse or your partner is forever changed now. You No one kind of knows what they're doing. You guys are both tired. Your money is stretched. As as the uh, the woman in the situation now, we're talking about how is this going to affect your career while your husband doesn't have those thoughts. There's going to be resentment there. There's so many things that need to be discussed, and we just keep brushing them off with enjoy the baby. And I think the harder conversations like the ones we're having here would really help people that are 15, 16, 17 that will start to hear these conversations. So years down the line, they won't expect it to be roses and think something's wrong with them mm. if they're not. We're not used to it. Remember when Meghan Markle said to, when she was on like that lawn and they said the interviewer asked her how she was doing after giving birth and her eyes welled up and she's like, I'm not okay. Because right. we're, and everybody talked about it and how relatable it was, but at the same time, no one talks about it. And I get it. Paris Hilton's on a carpet. She's just trying to be light and then keep it moving. So I think I would hope that, you know, Paris, since she has gone deep recently with the trauma that she's Very experienced, much so, yeah. perhaps she would share that if she had a longer, you know, interview. But right. maybe she is blessed to have night nurses and nannies. I don't know. I don't know what, what she has. I mean, Rihanna said she hasn't had any help for her first child for right. the first, like, six months. It's a so, different journey for everybody. Right, uh, yeah. Some people have grandma there for the first three months. It's just Correct. different. Yep. But I'm glad we talk about it and keep it real here. Mm -hmm. Gwyneth Paltrow, Tori? Mm -hmm. Speaking of keeping it real. <laughs> Fave. Is getting slammed for being out of touch after sharing her wellness routine on a podcast. Watch.
What's your wellness routine look like now? I eat dinner early in the evening. I do a nice intermittent fast. Um, I have bone broth for lunch a lot of the days. Try to do one hour of movement. I'll either take a walk or I'll do Pilates or I'll do my Tracy Anderson. And then I get in the sauna. I dry brush and I get in the sauna. So I do my infrared sauna for 30 minutes. Okay. Gwyneth also IV. talked about the benefits of getting IVs Sorry, while getting an IV during the podcast. I, Tori's has a face. I know that that's what I was going to address Tori. What did, what did she say? Okay. I don't want to be like that. None of that is bad. I'm not going to say anything about it is bad. It's a lot. It's a little pretentious especially for people who don't have bone broth for lunch. You can get bone broth from Sam's Club. I know, but that's also like not really filling for a lot of people to just have stock. You know what I mean? Like well, you soup. can put veggies in there. She didn't say it. She said she had bone broth a lot of times. Yeah, for they lunch. usually sip it in a mug. She'll sip it. Yeah, that's not something I'm that lifestyle or whatever. That is seeming, seemingly pretty rigid. Good for her to do that. I, she's not giving any medical advice. I'm okay. I just think that is so... Ho hoity. <laughs> well, call me Hoity, the guy, the guy with the vest, because usually I don't disagree. I don't agree with everything Gwyneth says. Like some of the things that she does are so outrageous. Nobody could relate to that. But one of the things I bought before the pandemic hit was a sauna, and I go in there every single day. I think exercise is very important, especially as I get older. I try to pay attention to myself. If I have extra money that when I was 20, I would spend at the bars, I want to do it on myself. Every once in a while, I'll give myself an IV. They're very expensive, but I'll save up for that. I think taking care of yourself, the bone broth I don't relate to, the brushing the hair I don't relate to. No, dry, dry, brush dry brush your body. Your body. Oh, your body? Yeah, I don't even know like what this. that means. <laughs> and, and you, you have, it's like kind of hurts, and then you sit in the sauna like a chicken. But yeah, but like. <laughs> Sorry. It's hard to follow that. But uh, yeah, I just think taking care of yourself is super important. I think we kind of just shoo it away. I can't believe Gwen had said that. Taking care of yourself? I, I agree with her. I feel Thank like Erica's you, been at ground zero for this. You've been since season one. When I was not taking care of myself, you always were. Well, thank you. Um, I remember that girl, too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been like that in quite some time. In fact, my therapist yesterday was like, so what is the hang-up that you have with self-care? Because it doesn't seem as though that's happening right now. Um, so I appreciate hearing people talk about self-care, and then it gives me ideas about how I might be able to incor incorporate some of these things into my schedule currently. So I, I have no problem, even if it's like hoity-toity, I live for aspiration. I want to. I want to see aspirational things. Clearly, Gwyneth lives a different type of lifestyle. Hopefully, one day I'll understand that mm, lifestyle. Yeah. Until then, practice. Yeah, we're gonna talk about practice. Oh, Allen Iverson. <laughs> I, yeah. I just. I don't know. Practice. I don't know if the, if. If my, I think my dad would still be alive if he had any kind Aww. of concept of self care. And I think that there's a large generation. Well, now I look like of, a huge no, dude. No, 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 I, do. no, she so I think no. we are the children of obviously our parents, and our parents didn't. They were profound out. I know. That got, <laughs> so yeah. that for a I was waiting for it. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to like. You know, the. Those people that we grew up with, they wouldn't go to the hospital mm -hmm. right, if right. they had a growth out of their neck. Yeah. True. You'd be like, oh, your neck, and they, oh, good, fine. But let me, you know, so yeah. like uh, teaching the, those people, at, even at this age, to, you know, uh, t take care of themselves. I don't know what that was. And, you know, and also like reminding ourselves it's okay yeah. to Agreed. get a foot I bath, no, to get a massage. I get it. Things that it and took I do me that. 45 years to understand. And I get just a make, foot bath. No, I do that. I got and, a foot bath. I, I love it. And I do all that. I want to make it clear. I just don't like it when she pushes and evangelizes her stuff. This is great for her, and I also appreciate the self-care, so I, I don't want to be like the jerk here. Dry brush. How, <laughs> how dare you talk about yourself on your podcast? Yeah. That someone asked exactly. you a question. Exactly. <laughs> I said it's not bad. I don't like what you Yeah, it. what a right, pusher. So I'm not about Gwyneth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is me. Uh, Go oh. ahead, Sam. Push your agenda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a hater. Uh, before we go, we have to wish actor Michael Caine a happy 90th birthday. Yes. Tom oh Cruise God. didn't make it to the Oscars, but you know where he was. He made it all the way to London for Michael's birthday yesterday. They took some pictures together at the birthday dinner. And if you remember, they were both an Austin Powers gold member back in 2002. 20. Oh, yeah. I can do a good um, Michael Caine. Oh. You guys want to see it? Yes. yes. Okay. TBO. <laughs> This show's amazing. <laughs> That's good. That was good. All right, do was, it again. It, was it? Wasn't yes. so, I wasn't okay. so, it oh. wasn't terrible. Okay, ready? You really bring it, though. Okay, hold on. Here we go. 
DBL, this show is amazing. Mm. <laughs> no, it was good. Don't no, no, encourage her. That was that, that was, was good. It was good. He's got marbles kind of in the mouth. Okay, there. if that was an audition, I would be like, all right, <laughs> good job. Are you gonna go with that next? No, Jeff, you're saying next. I'd be like, Batman. we need that one more time. Hold on, let me get my phone for your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh,